<laughs> oh, they're mumbling and cackling. <laughs> Hey guys, so welcome back to another vlog. We're not going to talk about my hair. I know it looks stupid, but I literally just had to run out the house because I have to stop at Sephora um, and pick up something for somebody. And then I need to run a few more errands and then I need to come home and like deep clean my house. So mind you, I'm having somebody come to clean my house in the next week or so, but like I need to clean it first. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's on my agenda today. And also, cleaning my house is going to help me have a smooth week. I have a lot to do. Um, I have a lot to do. First of all, why is it 82 degrees in November? And the time went back last night. I'm just so thrown. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. This week, y'all, I literally told all of my friends, like, yeah, like, I can hang out this week. I'm like, nah, we're not doing nothing. I have work to do, and I need to get myself together. Okay, and then also I'm gonna be cleaning my house tonight So I'm gonna be doing a wig sale on Tuesday because I'm gonna be like cleaning everything So we're just clearing out. So there's gonna be a few weeks added. I don't have a lot But I have an a enough that's in the way that I need to just yeah So that will be up and a lot of you guys always ask about the wig sales But uh, why is there trash everywhere? I don't like that um, so I always post them on Instagram and Twitter and on here, but a lot of you guys don't like scroll on your YouTube feed like that. So just make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter. I always post at least a week before or minimum four days before I'm putting the wigs on sale. Also, there's only so many that I can sell. Like I've, the most I probably sold at once is like 15, 20, maybe 20. Um, I don't have an endless supply of wigs, guys. I'm just reselling the ones that I've recorded with. So once they're gone, they are gone. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, that's on my agenda. I plan on having a great week. I've been feeling really, really good. I told you I needed that that um that rest. I needed that reset because I've been on go. I have been on go and I'm still here still alive my mom asked me to do something for her she was getting on my nerves this morning mm, mm, mm. she has drained me <laughs> um well i need to book a brow appointment so i actually got a wax and my nails done you guys see the little nails i got them oh where am i going oh, get it together I um, got my nails done and I cut them shorter and I just did a simple French tip. I think they're so cute. Um, but my brow lady wasn't available, so I need to actually look and see. Because I need to drop my mom off at the airport tomorrow. So if she is available on the way back, that would be great. Uh, she's not available till Tuesday. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to check in uh, and say hi, how are you? It's my mother again. All right guys, so I'm back home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Sephora before I start cleaning my house because as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it's a mess. I got wig boxes back there. Like why is this not here instead? Just a mess, purses everywhere. I'm gonna get it together. And I want juicy crab for dinner. So I need to finish cleaning so that I can eat. So that's gonna be my motivation, a big old, crab boil with the lobster tail in it mm. so i originally went to sephora only because only mind you i went earlier this week with shanine should i show you guys what i got from there i'm gonna show you guys hold on okay so i'm gonna show you guys what i got my camera has one little notch so we're gonna hurry this up so this is my cousin stuff this is her bag and this is my bag from today even though I went to Sephora a few days ago. So I ended up getting two moisturizers. I got this one by Ole Hankerson. This is a strength trainer, peptide boost moisturizer. It looks like this. Um, I really, really have been liking this. This is a moisturizer that I have been looking for 
it is amazing and then i also got the pharmacy 10 percent niacinamide night mask with vitamin b love this too it's definitely been helping with the texture you guys know my skin went through something last month and i'm recouping so the texture is getting better we just need to work on fading these marks okay um and these were per deshaun's recommendation um he told me about these and was raving about these and you know he's a skincare king so i got them and i am impressed so then next i got the summer fridays sheer skin tint which i never really paid attention to but um shanine was saying she heard good things about it she tried it she liked it i tried it i like it um it's like something that i would grab or like pack if i was traveling do i love it no is it good yes it's like a nice sheer but not like oily type of um tint it's like a nice like velvet finish that's the best way to describe it it looks really good on the skin again maybe i'm being biased right now because my skin's going through it so the whole like tint thing is not working for me well my skin's on 10 i love me a tint i love me a uh sheer coverage but right now i'm just kind of like eh. but it did have a really really um nice finish to it so i can't wait to try this in a few weeks when my skin gets it the hell together okay so then i also picked up the tropicals slather this is a exfoliating body serum for textured skin have not tried this yet um i can't wait to because i've been seeing a lot of things about this i've tried the faded that you guys rave about like the faded um like cream you guys see i still have dark spots and i use it all the time so i'm trying to just keep using it until it's done but i'm not like 100 percent impressed but i hope that i get good results with this um so yeah this has ahas in it so can't wait to try this just stay tuned for an update i will let you guys know in the weeks to come but it does say use two to three times a week or more often. I probably will use it like every day starting off. TBH. But it has AHA, so I don't want my skin to be like overly sensitive. So I'm going to take it slow. So then on today's trip to Sephora, I don't even know. None of this was ever on my like wanted list. I just got it. I don't know. So the first thing, literally the first thing I picked up was this Laneige Radiance C brightening treatment essence i've been really into essences lately or i've been buying them just to see like the difference that they make i don't really know what an essence does um Shani was telling me like it helps penetrate the other products so it's good to start off with or use after your toner so i got this one because i need some vitamin c okay we need to brighten the skin and fade these dark marks so i got this one and i know laneige is like really good with skincare i actually don't have any laneige skincare i believe i've definitely tried their lip stuff but that's about it so i will be trying this as well and i'm super excited and then i got the laneige cream skin this is not what i meant to get so this is a cream skin cleanser but i meant to get the cream toner so i'm taking this back tomorrow because i don't want this i don't want this cleanser i wanted the toner and i was really excited to try that tonight because i've always seen it on um twitter like everybody's like you gotta get this it's like this like creamy moisturizing toner i would pick up the wrong thing but i'm just gonna take it back tomorrow so i'm gonna put this back in the bag <laughs> um and take that back so then i got the glycolic acid the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution i heard this is really good for the underarms your scalp i don't know we're gonna see i keep seeing this and for the bottom of your feet so i'm gonna um try to incorporate this you know on my intensive skincare days because i kept looking for this in ulta it wasn't in ulta so i just picked it up i actually don't even know how much this is i know the ordinary is pretty affordable but yes yeah, ten dollars so and it's pretty big too so i can't wait to try that Wow, I'm really upset about this. I hate, I always pick up the wrong thing. Ugh. And then, more skincare. I picked up the Fenty Skin Watch Your Tone um, Dark Spot Serum. It has niacinamide in it too. Y'all know I've been on it. Y'all told me to try it and I've been trying it and I like it. I've definitely seen a change in the texture of my skin. So wait on it. Honestly, I wasn't going to get it. I wasn't intrigued, but the packaging got me. It's so cute because you literally just like, push this down it's like a dropper 
you push this down and it just comes out like that. So I really got it because of that. But I hope it's a good, um, you know, serum. And it doesn't have a smell to it because, you know, Fenty love a scent in your skincare child. But yeah, so moving along, moving along. So I got some Sephora things. You guys know Sephora was 30% off. So I ended up getting these two concealers. Um, not, they didn't have any that I really wanted. So I swatched them and I was obsessed with the consistency. You guys know I love a full coverage concealer, but they didn't have like any shades. And then the shades that they did have available were opened and stuff and uh-uh so it's supposed to have the sticker on it a lot of them the sticker was ripped off or it wasn't on there no thank you so i got shade 55 n because you guys know i like to go in with something close to my skin tone this is giving a little bit darker though maybe not i don't know we'll see we'll see and then i got this shade 21.5 y which is super bright but i might do like a little dot in the corner for that extra bright concealer because i never buy super bright concealers I like a brightening, but I never go crazy with it. So we're gonna see. And then I'll just order some more shades online. I think I wanna add these to my, well, I need to use them first, but the consistency is giving, I need to add these to my kit because when I tell you these are so thick and creamy, oh my gosh. And I've heard a lot of people talking about this too. So got that. And then I got two blushes by Sephora. This is Hey Jealousy and fascinated this one's like a berry pink so you guys know I, I love using date night um but this one's more it's a little bit more berry toned instead of the hot pink and then this one's like this like fuchsia not fuchsia oh my gosh like a corally color so can't wait to try that and then i got um you guys did tell me to get molasses by sephora brand it was sold out so i got uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Foxy Brown Lip Liner. Hope it's a nice shade, it looked like it was. And then I got Rare Beauty's um, Bronzer Stick, which I told you guys I love, but I got a darker shade. This one is um, True Warmth. Um, I really like the other one. I think the other one is called Full of Life, but I wear that on my like lighter makeup days, so I just wanted something a little bit darker when I'm feeling extra. But this is like really, really, really warm tone. So if you're deep complexion, you want a nice bronzer, cream bronzer, get this. Cause I know this is too dark for me, but I do crazy things. And then lastly, I got this lip gloss by Tower 28. I've never bought anything from them. And this is in the shade Sesame. I like this, it's really pretty, like a throw-on gloss. Um, I've been liking these kinds of shades, like if I don't wear any liner or anything, or to like put in my purse throughout the day, throughout the night, just to just make my lips look juicy. So that's all the things that I got today that I will show you. Wow, I'm upset about this. This is a milk oil cleanser. Maybe I keep this. Has anybody tried this? Should I keep it? Should I, should I not? How much was this? $27, not terrible. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'll do my research and decide. But I still do want to get the um the toner because that's what I wanted. Like, like what? Why do I why did I need all this stuff? So anyways, I'm about to, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these boxes out of my house. I got boxes everywhere. So I'm gonna do that before it gets too dark because I'm not going by the trash if it's too dark and then I'm gonna come back in and clean my house. So I will talk to you guys later. So today's another day and I've had a very busy day. I've been up literally since 6 a.m. and it is now seven and I am not anywhere near done. I still have two videos to edit, wigs to wash, errands to run, but the darkness outside is killing me. So I'm about to leave, I have to go to the store. Um, I'm actually gonna go back to Sephora and take this back and in the meantime and in between time i'm looking at my schedule right and my schedule this week is just yeah so <laughs> i'm actually gonna pick up those sephora concealers that i bought yesterday for my kit i really like them and they're affordable and today's the last day of the sale so i'm gonna go ahead and get a lot of them if they have any because there wasn't many in stock at the other Sephora.
So I'm gonna go to the other one, which is actually closer. So putting this in here, so I can take this back or exchange it for what I want. And then, cause I've been using the Murad cleanser and I really like it, so I don't wanna be in too many cleansers. I typically stick to one cleanser. Like I'll switch out my products, but I stick to like one cleanser. But anyways, I'm gonna get these concealers. I'll use it today and I love, I wanted to use it first before I bought them, but I put it in my head yesterday that I wanted to put them in my kit. Um, because I believe they're $15, and then, you know, Sephora is having 30% off, so I can get as many as I can. Um, and what else? I need to stop at Target, and that might be it. I might not have to go to the grocery store because, y'all, yesterday I cleaned out my fridge. Nothing in my fridge. Like, there's nothing. There's bottles of water in my fridge and some condiments at the side and a bag of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> So I literally cleared out my um my fridge yesterday, like two garbage bags. So I was just like, this stuff has probably been sitting here. I haven't cooked y'all in like two months. So I'm like, this stuff gotta go. We're gonna start over and make a menu. I'm actually gonna make a menu and figure out what I'm eating for the next week and just take it a week at a time. Cause my issue is, if you guys haven't noticed, if you if you've watched my previous vlogs, I will go to the grocery store and overbuy, and I'm still one person. And I still don't cook like that because I'm always busy. So a lot of times I just don't have the energy. So I rather like if I cook two, three times a week, I buy enough food for that. And then I just have to go back to the grocery store or Instacart or whatever. Um, yeah, having all those groceries was a waste because I threw out like and do not call me wasteful. I'm so sorry. I threw out like four things of milk that were unopened. Like every time I went to the grocery store, I was just buying milk again, like um, almond milk. Oh, we know almond milk is not cheap. So, like, that's such a waste. But I had to throw it away because I can't drink it. So, yeah, I'm just going to make a menu of things that I need. Um, yeah, we're going to go from there because also I'm tired of eating out. Because even, like, now I'm like, what am I going to eat? I'm tired of eating out. And then I'm going to get a salad from Tzatziki, like a salmon salad. Um, again, that's something that I could have made. <laughs> but I don't have time for that, so... You know what I do need? I need some Ugg slippers. So it's so funny. Me and Aaliyah was talking about these little Ugg slippers. We're like, those are so not cute. Oh my God. And then we're like, they're so cute. <laughs> so I know she ordered them and I was like, I need to order them because also like actual Uggs are just a bit much sometimes. Like even right now I have on like wide leg sweatpants like this and putting on Ugg boots with that, a bit much. If I could just slide my foot in, that would be great. So I'll probably pick some up tomorrow. I know Dillard's has them. I need some of those. Um, and yeah. Then tomorrow, guys, I have to vote. I hope y'all voted. I'm voting. I hope y'all voted. I was supposed to. This chair, y'all. I need a new one. But anyways, I was supposed to vote early vote, but I didn't have time. And I can't not vote tomorrow. So I'm going to vote tomorrow and something else I have to do tomorrow. Something else I have to do tomorrow. I get my brows done tomorrow. So brows. No, vote first duh vote in the morning browse then i have a client then i need to come back and get some work done and i think wednesday i okay so let me tell you guys i'm like kind of rambling i've been rambling like majority of this vlog you guys sorry but um so so i had to squeeze in doing this video because I kind of wanted to just get out the way. I didn't know I had another wig on the way until my mom brought it on Friday. And I'm like, I thought I was done. Because I probably told y'all last week I was done, huh? I wasn't done. So I wanted to do this because I really want to get my hair done on Wednesday. I want to, you know, short hair. Hello, cut my hair for a reason. So I saw she had availability. So I'm probably going to book that tonight. But then, like, I really like this. And I'm going out both days. And y'all know I don't like to do the same look back to back to back. So I'm like, do I do the short hair? one day and then like give this another because this is cute this is cute or is this too predictable i don't know i don't know i'll figure it out but i'm getting my hair done this week um either way because i deserve and i have not touched my hair since like a week after my birthday i tried to do it and i said then y'all saw the wigs on again i'm not makeup all over my shirt i know i be getting on your nerves when I be telling y'all I'm doing this and that and this and that and that, and then I come back and y'all didn't see this or that. But listen, I be on go. I be trying to be in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, the camera just really holds me back. 
but I'm trying. But I did go back to Sephora. I took that cleanser back, but um, they didn't have the toner thing, so it was another cleanser. That's probably why I grabbed it at the other store, thinking it was because it was like right next to it. It looks just like it. So moved on from that. So I'm going to show you guys what I got for myself instead. So I remember Kyra talking about these tablets and Aaliyah these Chanel tablets. Do I need this? No. But listen, I'm a self-care fanatic. So yeah, this is the um, Chanel Chance like um, tablets. And I'm surprised because I've smelled Chanel Chance before and I'm not a fan of it. But these smell so good. There's 10 of these in here and they're $70. Is it worth it? I don't know. Will it add to your shower experience? Absolutely. So I know you can put these in your bath. I feel like these are too scented and I don't know the ingredients if I want to like sit in this. So I don't know. It's to each his own, but I would definitely put this in my shower. It smells really good. Like it smells so good. Like it's very like, like it's like a warm floral to me. It doesn't smell like regular Chanel Chance. So if you've been debating on getting this, definitely just well it's too late now but get it get it okay and then um i saw Aaliyah talking about the patrick ta brow gel hold on lamination brow gel i cannot see because this is like all metallic Ciao. um and i got it because i'm not really like big into brow gel well i'm getting into them but look at this brush you guys let me go like this. You know, I gotta go like that. Look at that brush. It's so cool. It's like a silicone-y kind of brush. Um, and I'm sure the formula is good. So can't wait to try that. And that's all I got myself. So I'm gonna put this over here. Oh, on my desk that needs to be cleaned. Jesus. And then I actually picked up as much as I could at the Sephora because of course they were running out of colors. Chai done got concealer all, all over these because I was swatching. But I was able to get a few concealers for work. Um, these are really good. I have it on right now. And I really like her. It's really full coverage. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight concealers. And they're only $15. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ugh. They're only $15, so I can restock. I only save like four. Well, I mean, that's a big deal. I save like $4 and some change with the 30%, $4 and change, I believe, <laughs> on each one. Let me stop dropping this. Um, but I just got color. Well, there was very limited colors, first of all. But I got colors mostly based on like um, my most fre frequent, frequent, what, what? Frequent, sometimes words sound so wrong. Frequent clients. So um, I know what kind of shades I go through the most. I can't explain it, but when you start like booking people, you'll notice what foundations you run through the fastest, what kind, what color concealers. You have a demographic and you have a certain clientele. And if you have clients, they're most likely going to continue to come back. So you continue to go through the same things when they come back. So this is about the shade range that I got. Um, you know, nice bright under eye and then i picked up a few of these because I, I don't even know what powder i've been using at work child so i said let me get some of the micro smooth which a lot of them are out so i got the shade mocha bronze almond and tan and they look like this so this is tan and almond very similar but different undertones see this one's like more golden this one's a little bit more neutral pink and then mocha and bronze so again another light one and then this one's a little deeper so excited to use those and i have some other stuff that i went through yesterday that i need to take to work some new primers and stuff um super excited so new products makes me excited to work you guys notice like whenever i buy new stuff i'm like i get this like um burst of energy to like do makeup on clients yeah i gotta go talk to you later we'll see what tomorrow brings and yeah good morning guys so i am at my hair appointment 
I don't know if I told you guys I made it. Well, no, I didn't because I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I made a hair appointment. Um, you guys know I can't. Well, maybe I did tell y'all. Anyways, I can't do my short hair, so I made an appointment. So I just got here, and I think she's here now. She said she was running a little bit behind. So I'm actually about to switch out my camera battery if I brought it. I don't know how I do. But yeah, yesterday was so chaotic, guys. I got so much done. Like, I was so busy yesterday. What did I do yesterday? I woke up. I had to... What did I do yesterday? Oh my gosh, it's such a blur. But anyways, I'm about to walk in and get my hair done by Ashley. I even have my bonnet on because my hair is so bad. Like, so, so bad. Ugh. So we're about to get it all the way together, okay? I never go anywhere in my bonnet, but I was like, there's literally no point in trying to do anything. Just please, so. getting my hair done and I'm about to get ready so I came home please excuse that I'm watching one-on-one -on -one. Um, but I came home took a shower and I finished I tried to finish editing these videos but I don't know what's wrong let me pause this because probably distracting I don't know what's going on with me you guys but editing this is giving me so much anxiety it's like I cannot get I can't even breathe. I cannot get these voiceovers right for the life of me for these um, online classes. Like, it's just really stressing me out as if I don't do voiceovers every day. And it's just like, I can't get through it. I tried to do it this morning. I just kept stuttering. I didn't like how I sound, this and that. My friend's like, girl, just talk. She's like, just talk. And it's like, I feel like I'm over... What's the word? I'm being hard on myself because I feel like I have to be like super professional. I'm glad I caught myself. <laughs> I use my brow gel i feel like i have to be super professional i don't want to give you guys any like half-assed content and it's just like really really stressing me out so my brows are two different shapes but this is a patrick ta um brow thing that i bought i like the brush but i feel like the benefit one is better low key i just like the brush on that but i feel like the formula of the other one is better somebody's texting me my makeup has to look right because I have no hair to hide behind, so I got to go. All right, so I'm about to head out, and my outfit is cute in person, but it's not giving in this camera. So I have these pants on from Pretty Little Things that are way too big. I feel like Pretty Little Thing is so hit or miss. Like, sometimes I could wear a 10, and it's, like, fitting, but, like, giving me that muffin top, and then sometimes it fits like this. So I'm probably just going to do, like, the shoestring method or something, but it will work for tonight. They're super comfy. So just a little pose when I... A little hip action when I pose, it'll give. And then um, this top from Pretty Little Thing is like a graphic type of shirt. And then the Chanel and the shoes, you guys. So cute, right? These are from Zara. These are the Zara shoes that I had last time. Move this out the way. So cute. I love a pointed toe. And yeah, so take another look at the outfit. I promise you guys it looks way better in person. So yeah, guys, this is a fit. I'm probably going to pose like this, a little leg open, hip out or something. I don't know. But I definitely want to get a picture today. And then, and then this is the face. Hello, face and hair is 
giving and then i'm wearing this perfume i literally only wear this when i go out now because i get so many compliments and who don't want to be told they smell good you could literally like three sprays and they on you they just on you so that has been my go-to fragrance no necklace i don't feel like it i have my coach bangle and my jbw so that's pretty much it are we seeing the vent are we feeling the vision um I'm gonna see what these pictures is looking like because they finna look but it's a dinner. Say hi. Oh, candle lit. Hello. Oh, it's a candle lit dinner, honey. It sure is. Okay. So we got us some rolls. I really wanted a chicken salad. Baby, they don't they, have it. They don't have salads. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Yes. Are the people can I <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Just can take I, it. Just me, take I it. Love she's hungry. I love I, I'm hungry. Ah, zilch. She got the server mad at us. She, she, he said, Baby, that's the, he said the drink was nasty. She said, I want it. <laughs> I did. I sure did. And it was good. Yeah. So I took it back. He, he was like, mm. <laughs> First of all, I'm always on my best behavior. I said what I said. Swipe my shit. See, she likes to whisper after Swipe people. Swipe my car. Like, be for real. I say it out loud. Be for real. Just she wants a chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> we have to drink this before we go. I'm about to chug it, baby. Don't worry. Also, we have. Uh, come on, let's go. I'm 48 ready. minutes. I'm so ready to go. Let's go. Until I have to go home. That includes taking pictures, and she wants to go out. Oh, baby, fuck them all. Let's fuck them bitches. So first of all, she got me eating this shaking beef as if it's just beef when it's really a salad. And you know I asked for a salad. They don't have salads here. Let's this is a salad. This is literally a salad. What is he talking about? Bitches don't want to be healthy. She's like, I just want- at Lake Colonial. I just want to be beef. healthy. Like, be fucking for real. What's not healthy about this? Be fucking for real. We just had garlic noodles. This is a salad. First of all, we didn't have to get noodles. We could've just ate the salad. Baby, you That's why there's two pieces of meat on there because it's a salad. <laughs> it's not a steak. <laughs> That's why. Act like you motherfucking not. Act like you're not. Just, all right. Cheers, bitches. Oh my gosh, have a car for you. Cheers. I'm gonna turn into a pumpkin bitches. at 12. Cheers. Woo. Lychee Martini, y'all know the vibes. It's either this or a lemon drop. And I leave it. I was it. trying to do like a, but my mouth was too wet. <laughs> that was loud, huh? It was. <laughs> it's actually better when your mouth is a little wet. It's, it's not. Just let it go. It's not giving. Get your shit and let's go. Because nobody told you a lie. You're not finna rush my pictures because I ain't taking a picture in a while. I'm not so, rushing. But this is what we're not finna do. I don't, I don't want to pee. Okay, we'll go to the bathroom. I'll meet you there. I'm gonna finish drinking. Didn't nobody tell you to chug your drink. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm back in. I'm about to take off my shoes. And you guys, these shoes were so comfortable. The ones I got from Zara. Like, so comfortable. I wonder what the name of this shoe is and if they have different colors because it gives on the foot. Okay. I wonder what this is. It came in a FedEx, FedEx, FedEx box. So I can tell you guys because by the time this vlog is up, this will be in the vlog. So I'll be gone. So I'm going to be going to New York next week. Today is the 10th. I'll be there on the 15th. And I'm going to the 40 under 40 party. So they sent the invitation. I wasn't expecting this. She didn't keep saying, did you get the invitation? I'm like, no. She said, did you check the mail? No. But this is why she asked, because it was an extra invitation. I'm like, no. So cute. You're cordially invited. Oh, wow. Terrence J and Selena Hill. My candy at the bottom. Yeah, I know I like me some candy, honey. And it's now or later is period. But yeah, so I will be in New York next week. I'm actually about to buy my ticket right now. And I need to find an outfit. It's cocktail attire. Me and Shanine thought it was 
black tie attire. Glad we didn't get gowns. <laughs> so I need to find a little, you know, mini dress, but also her New York's cold right now, but like everywhere is going through global warming. So it might not be, I'm about to text her. So I actually dyed my hair black, which I never do because I have so many gray hairs. So she dyed my hair black which makes it look like shinier. She cut it really low. I like my hair very, very low because my hair was so thick. She literally was like, how did your hair grow so much in a month? Like she was like, you literally are getting a brand new haircut. I'm like, yeah, but I've also been taking my vitamins, the vitamins that I showed you guys in my last video. So I've been taking a hell of vitamins. So my skin is getting better. It's still, but my hair has been growing crazy. Even when I went to get a wax, <laughs> Tara was like, whoa, I'm like, listen beauty is pain okay so it is what it is but i'm about to call my mom real quick and book this flight hey guys so today's thursday there's another day another outing so i'm about to get ready because me kyra and Aaliyah are going to umi so i'm getting ready it's like an earlier dinner normally we go to dinner later but we're going at six so I'm just gonna get ready now. So I'm on time and I'm so tired you guys, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and Uber because I'm literally drained. Like I can't explain it. My body's just drained and driving in five o'clock traffic right now would actually piss me off. So I'm trying to get ready a little earlier so that, where is this brow gel? So that um I could really be on time because the Ubers be taking a while to get to me because of where I live. They be getting lost. It'd be taking like 15, 20 minutes for them to get to me. So I'm just going to get ready now so that I am on time. Um, but yeah, I know what I'm wearing because I was going to wear it last night, but I did not have boob tape. And I feel like I, I know I always say I need boob tape. But I really need a boob tape with that because I couldn't finesse a bra under that outfit. So I went to work earlier. Oh my gosh, I went to work earlier and then um, what else did I do? I went to work. Thank you, Tasha. And then I went to Ulta to get um, the boob. Well, I got the nipple covers and I already had the boot tape. So I just needed the nipple covers. I felt like it was necessary. So got that and I should be good. So I don't know how long that's going to take me. That's why I'm just getting ready now. Well, I'm honestly not getting ready that far in advance. It's literally 3.50 right now. <laughs> also, I know yesterday I said that I feel like the benefit formula was better than the Patrick Ta. It's actually amazing. Like your brow hairs do not, um, what you call it? Your brow hairs do not move. Like wow. See, I'm about to shorten my brow. I don't know why my brow has been so long lately. Yeah. 
Hair was already done, face is done. The outfit today, I'm wearing this um, like sweater thing. I just fought with this boob tape, okay? And then having these brown pants, which are again too big. Oh my gosh. Like, I just don't understand how pretty little things, but they're comfortable, so whatever. And then I have on these gold shoes. You guys have seen these a bunch of times, and the gold clutch. So, this is the vibe for dinner tonight. It's very ooh, gloomy and rainy, so. Yeah, I didn't even get my boots up the way I want, but I really, whatever, it's cool, so, I know. No, you know my size. You know what this is giving from all that? That's why I said that. Oh, I didn't even realize. I like my ass, like not my ass. Wow, your teeth look really good. Thanks. Like, white as fuck. Thanks. I, oh, um, you use it's so dark. I feel like I, or, charcoal, I just, or charcoal toothpaste. I've actually been using the moon toothpaste. And I really oh, like I know. it. Yeah, that's my favorite. It works really good. The Cold black charcoal? No, no, no. The brand is called Moon? Moon. Oh, is it, it, it Kendall's brand? No. It's she just Harvey. promoted it, right? Y'all, who keeps calling yeah, me? Can I answer? Bitch, answer. Hello. <laughs> Kyra lost her earring. I'm so irritated. I didn't see. I, I was sitting on this okay. side. This is why I don't Why do you switch it? Because it's my Yeah, good side, okay. And it's like the hair is going to fall on me. Nine, it doesn't open till nine. What? The Himitsu. Oh, wow. What time is it? Oh, she died when I work. Oh, no. Hi. Oh, no. Like oh, nice. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, hey, guys. So, it has definitely been a few days. Hold on. Make sure this is even. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. So, I know it has been a few days. Today is actually monday last time i saw you guys it was thursday and i went out with kyra and Aaliyah. i've been busy since okay so first of all we went out we was out all night of course and then i have work friday morning work saturday morning work sunday morning so today is monday and okay so i actually don't have to go back to work till friday so yeah um yesterday after work okay so I told you guys last week I'm going to New York. I think I told you guys. I don't know. I'm going to New York tomorrow. So me being the person. Well, first of all, not even me being last minute. First of all, I've just been really, really busy. So I um, haven't had time to do much. So yesterday, me and my mom actually went to the mall. I was like, please come to the mall with me and help me find something to wear. Because I really wanted to wear this outfit. I'm going to show it to you guys. Because I thought it was going to get. But it wasn't going to get here in time. So. But I still, you know, might get it just to have it in my closet because every time I go somewhere like big or like an event, I have to buy something and that doesn't make any sense. Also, I saw it um, yesterday in Neiman's and they didn't have my size because I was like, <gasps> the outfit, but it was in pink and I wanted pink so bad. I've been li really liking pink. So I was going to wear this like feathery top, okay, with the pants. That was just really my vibe. That's how I was feeling. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to get that. I do still need some shoes for my outfit today. If not, I get to New York, um, in the afternoon. So once I settle down in the hotel, I can literally just go find shoes and go shop, which I would prefer to do. But you know, you just want to be prepared when you're going somewhere. You would much rather be prepared than have to have the pressure of like, 
oh, I'm going to find these shoes. And like, oh, they might not have my size. And like, oh, but it is New York and the options are endless, right? So, yeah, anyways, not too stressed about it. But I do need a coat because it, it got cold in Atlanta overnight. It's literally like 40 degrees. And it was like 75 degrees a few days ago. So, weird. Um, so, I know it's cold in New York. So, my mom actually is going to get me a coat today because I have a lot to do. I have some adulting to do, and then I have to take my brother somewhere, then I have a hair appointment. Because baby, who's going like this? You see the size? No ma'am. And I don't really want waves, I want it more of like a sleek pixie so that I don't look crazy on day two. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys my dress. You guys aren't gonna see the vision until I put it on, until I put that on. But this is not what I went for, but I'm gonna show y'all. So, this is the dress first of all the blue stunning i'm thinking of doing silver with this um but i really really like it so when she brought it out i was just kind of like because it's this material like it gives like mature woman and i'm just like that's not what i was going for but when i tell you guys you guys have to realize i am not a little girl okay i'm a thick girl i'm a size 10 Okay, so I can't just put on any kind of dress. The dress has to be cut a certain way or made of a certain material to flatter me. So a lot of times dresses will fit me, but they won't look good on me. It's just giving good. And that's not the dress fault. That's my fault. This is my body. Or it just is like the boob area is not, you know, holding my boobs up enough or something. Whatever material this is, snatch me up. And I got a um, shaper to... Um, and I got some other stuff in here too. I got some spanks, you know, some spanks, spanks. Um, I haven't bought spanks in a while, but I was really liking that one. But um, yeah, it's just so cute, and it's like it's kind of like this. this is how it actually came out on the hanger. And you see, it's giving granny, right? But these are not actually sleeves; they like go off the shoulder, and then it has like this little peekaboo. It is so cute. Um, it's by Chiara Bonnie. Chiara Boney? I don't know. Um, but yes, I did get this in Saks. Um, and I was really pleased with my purchase. The, the dress, let me put this back, y'all. The dress, I'm not gonna lie, was a little pricey, but you know, I thought of it as an investment piece. And as I was like walking through the mall, my mom was like, we literally need to come in here like once a month and just get you an outfit and just build your closet that way. And I'm like, you know what? That's going to be my new thing. I'm just going to start investing in pieces. It doesn't matter how much it costs. Well, it does matter, but you guys know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how much it costs. If I like it and it's quality and it fits me well, I'm going to buy it, invest in it, and put it in my closet. It doesn't mean that I have to wear it that week because I bought it. It doesn't mean I have to wear it tomorrow. It will just be in my closet. And that's how you really build your closet because I always tell you guys I prefer quality pieces. Like, of course, you know, you buy things randomly sometime or something's just cute and you want it but i feel like building your closet you really need nice quality pieces and quality pieces does not mean you have to go to neiman's or Saks or whatever but you know whatever quality is to you whatever you like because something i may like you may be like i don't like this and something you may like i may be like i don't like that so it's just all up to you but that's definitely gonna be my new thing um but i have been ordering some stuff though um from like revolve and um not far-fetched because they take too long um forward i like order things here and there whenever i see it or if i've been watching something and it goes on sale and it's still my size i'll just buy it and just toss it in the closet um but yeah like i've just been you know going with the vibes but i try not to buy things all the time like i have things that are like even vacation wear and i ain't been nowhere beachy but when it's time i'm gonna have a few outfits you know or like I just have certain things for when it's time to go out, whatever. So anyways, that's just, you know, my rundown. And this is the start of another chaotic week. It's been very chaotic, you guys. I've been so busy. And it's crazy because I'm always busy, but, like, I determine my level of busyness. So, like, I said I wanted to be really busy because I plan on taking a break again. <laughs> Everybody's probably so tired of me. Probably, I plan on taking a break again in January, so I just want to um, get this holiday wave out the way and then chill. Okay. <gasps> Hold on a second. So, yeah, I'm about to. Um, I need to find this paper. I cannot find this freaking paper that I've been looking for, and it's starting to irritate me. 
very very much hey guys <laughs> so today's tuesday is another day you guys see my hair looks crazy i've been walking around with my hood on my head because i look crazy like why is my sideburn sticking up like this like i just don't understand i fell asleep last night and i didn't wrap my hair and also because i knew i was getting my hair done today so yeah but um i just went to the mall i ended up getting a new coat like i needed like a more dressy coat i felt like um so i got a cute little coat or whatever um and i looked for shoes again but I didn't have any luck. I really want a silver pair of shoes and my natural instinct keeps telling me to get these silver, the silver Tom Ford shoes, but they're just not the most comfortable. And my whole goal for my outfit for this party is comfort. You feel me? So yeah, so not really going for that, but you know, whatever. Um, but we'll see. It last last resort will be that because I know they're gonna have it. They always have them. It's a staple. I'll wear it again. This is the thing. When you buy shoes, you gotta be strategic about where you're wearing them and how you're wearing them. If I go to this event, chances are we're gonna be standing majority of the time, and I don't want to be stank or have an attitude because my feet hurt. I don't want to be that girl because naturally that's what's gonna happen, you know. <laughs> um, I want to be comfortable. My dress is comfortable. My hair is going to be done. I'm not going to have to be worrying about my lace showing this and that. So I'm going to be comfortable. You feel me? So my feet need to be comfortable. So um, my goal is to find a cute pair of shoes. And I really want to do like a ponytail shoe because I've really been into them. But like that's really going to like auntie the outfit. And I just am like, okay, bitch, relax. Um, but I really wanted a pair of Renee. Renee. Renee, okay, Aaliyah told me the other day how it says, not Cavalias, it's Caval, Caval y'all know what I'm talking about, the shoes that wrap around, but they don't have any cute color. they have cute colors, but not any that will go with me, I just want a nice silver pair, you know, but whatever, anyways, um, so yeah, so, might get shoes when I get to New York, might find a pair later today, we will see, I don't know, we just gonna see. But I'm definitely not going back to Lennox, so, because that was ghetto. I literally never go to Lennox because what's the reason? What is the reason? And I went two days in a row? That's enough. First of all, they didn't have me go through a metal detector up the escalator. And then when I get to the top, she's like, um, I need to check your purse. And she's like checking somebody's purse too. And I'm like, okay. And um, she opens my, well, I open my bag and she looks in there and she's like, Oh, don't you? I said I'm not using my camera. We already know the drill. Don't use your camera. And I don't ever walk around the mall and vlog. You guys may hate me for that, but I'm sorry. Just you're not about to tell me to put my camera away because you're gonna annoy me. So I just rather not. And yeah. So anyway, so anyway, so anyways. Um, yeah. Y'all, today. <laughs> Today literally drained me. I can feel how heavy my eyelids are. I'm getting hot. I keep tripping over everything. <laughs> my coordination is not there. I keep dropping everything. I'm just so ready to go home. So I'm about to do a load of laundry. <sighs> I need to find something to eat. You know what? I did eat this morning. That was at like 8 o'clock this morning. So I do need to... Which way am I going? I don't want to go this way. I think this way would be easier. Um, I do need to eat, get my life, because I have a video to edit so that it's up tomorrow so that I'm not gone and prolonging this upload. It's going to be up while I'm gone and I'll feel productive. So, yeah, I'm about to get my life because I'm so tired. I'm, like, out of it.
You guys, I made it. First thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands because y'all know how I feel. I literally washed my hands before I left the airport. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna use this little bar. So I'm gonna show you guys a hotel room. It's really cute. I'm staying at the Hard Rock Hotel in New York. It's literally right on Times Square. So I'm like, I kind of wanna like walk around, but like I'm kind of nervous. So I don't know. I need to eat though. I have not eaten. Starting to get a little hangry. Oh my gosh, my hand. Oh, I have lotion on. I'm like, my hands are so gross, but I have put lotion on. Um, But I did not know this was a new hotel. So the lady just told me that this hotel is only six months old. And that's probably why I liked it. Because it was looking real fresh. It was looking real new. You feel me? So, um, and I actually booked it last night. Did I tell you guys that? There was like a, oh, let me take this hood off. I've been wearing my hair for like two days. So, um, my mom has a friend who could have got me a room somewhere else, but they were booked up. I don't know what's going on in um, New York, but kind of sort of last minute, she told me like, you know, you can stay at this hotel instead of this one. And I ain't like the other option. So I'm like, I just booked my room, it's okay. But I was told yesterday, so here we are. But I'm really glad though, because I do like it. So let me show you guys the bathroom. So this is the bathroom, really cute, really chic. Like, you know, Hard Rock is giving me like, being in here is giving me Vegas vibes, like just very flashy. And I kind of like that, I like that. Let me put this latch on this door. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, so this is a shower, real gaudy. I like, like stuff like this when I'm on vacation, like real like extra. And then I don't know what, this is a closet. I need to hang my, um, dress and my coat in here but i like this like royal blue with the gold super cute and then this is the room i like shanine should be joining us tomorrow but um you know tv they have music playing in this little area which is perfect because i need to get some work done you guys i need to edit this vlog i don't know if i'm going to be able to but we'll see and then this is my view it's a gloomy day oh how did you know please? And I brought my charger for my camera, so we're not gonna run out of footage. But my view is kind of janky. Uh uh. I'm on the 26th floor, so um, that's gonna make me throw up. But this is my view. Very city like. Very, very dingy. Thank you. Dingy. Thank you. So I don't know what I'm about to do. Whew. I'm probably about to go downstairs and eat. I'm at Hard Rock Hotel, so. I'm sure they have a restaurant somewhere downstairs. Um, so yeah. Is that Gaga? Love to see it. Oh, that's so cute. Do you guys see that? It's Gaga. I love it. I tried to get my mom to come, but she couldn't get off work. But what I'm about to do is actually... Okay, so let me tell... Oh my God, I did not even tell you guys about this morning. So let me tell you. Let me turn on the TV. It is so loud. So this morning, I freaking, okay, so I've been really busy, right? I keep telling you guys I've been really busy. Like work has been like on another level, which is great. Love that for me. Um, but I've just been tired. So I had originally announced the wig sale for last Tuesday. Now it is Tuesday. So I originally announced it for last Tuesday, but then I got hit with a huge workload the next day. So I couldn't get the wigs out then thursday then the weekend was swamped and then so i was like all i know is i'm getting these wigs out before i leave so which is a week and that's long for me to ship something out a week out i'm normally like a day or two and after that whatever the postal service does is out of my hands but i do my job you feel me so anyways <laughs> so i ended up I'm falling asleep last night. So I printed the labels out, fell asleep. I had to leave my house at 6.30, no later, because I live like an hour from the airport and then traffic. My flight was at 9.30, you know what I'm saying? So I had to pack, shower, and pack wigs in an 
hour, hour and a half. Shanine's calling. Sorry, we were talking on the phone, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I basically have 30 minutes to get everything together, guys, um, because I fell asleep, which is not good. Can I shorten this? Um, and yeah, so I kind of threw everything in the bag. I don't really know what I have. I really don't need anything. I have like loungewear, like I have like clothes that I could wear like during the day and stuff. Um, I was so annoyed because I bought those Ugg slippers I was telling you guys about. And so when I tried them on in the store, I felt like the eight, because they only had them available in men's, I was not seeing them in women's. So anyways, I wear eight in men's, which is a 10 in women's, right? And I'm gonna double check, but I believe that's correct. So anyways, so I'm like, oh, can I get an eight in men's? And I tried on and it felt like it was tight. And I was like, dang, my feet fit? Like, that's crazy. So then, I tried on the nine, I was like, perfect, but I didn't walk around, that's my downfall. I didn't walk around, so I get home, this, I get home, I didn't try them on, so this morning I was, you know, getting my, my bag and everything together, and I'm putting the shoes on, because those are gonna be like my walking shoes, my traveling shoes, just slip them on and off. They was flopping off my feet, so I need to take them back when I get back, and exchange it for an eight, or just dub the whole shoe. <laughs> but I have on my Adidas, the, They're so done, dis dusty, I'm not even gonna show you guys. But they're the collab with Pharrell. I got them years ago for my birthday. You guys have probably seen them a lot of times. But that's what I got on and that's just what it is, so whatever. So I'm about to head downstairs and get some food and get a drink because y'all, today has drained me. And I got a new jacket, guys. I got it at Macy's yesterday. It is a Ralph Lauren. And it um it was sixty percent off, so I got a good deal on it. I just wish the fur. Okay, I love the fur, but I wish it detached for a moment, like right now. But other than that, I love my jacket. <laughs> and it like does this thing where it like looks cinch and makes you look like you know. I got it really for the event, not for now. But I could only bring one jacket, or I would have brought another jacket. But I need to have my crossbody under my jacket. Apparently, is what the girls are telling me. Yeah, I'm about to um, put this in my purse. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera, guys. I'm nervous. I might bring my camera tomorrow. So I'm just going to go downstairs and eat. If I feel like anything is vlog worthy. I will use my phone, but I'm going to leave my camera here. So I don't need to bring this. What am I doing? Because I'm nervous. My anxiety is on 10 right now. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so, I'm eating at this place called Sessions. It's in the hotel. Um, and it's real cute. I don't know what I'm eating yet, but I know I want to drink. Like right now. Look at how cute it is. So cute. Oh, look at the Like me. <laughs> you guys, so I should be looking at the camera and not at myself. So tell me why I eat. My food was good. I ate at the hotel. And then my mission was to go to Saks, right? And I went to Saks and I actually got something. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It was so random. It wasn't, it's was nothing relevant, but I was so overwhelmed. First of all, I knew they had a lot of floors, but like, whoa. I actually didn't find a pair of shoes because I feel like I've seen all those shoes already. And I just was like, mm, mm. So I'm just gonna make do with what I got and call it a day. Um, I wish I could open this mouthwash. But I just got back home. I literally got lost, you guys. It started drizzling. My phone died. I kept making the wrong turn. I kept going the opposite way of the hotel. Ciao. And then I finally figured it out. It was giving. But I'm cool, you know. I, feel, I knew I was going to get lost. Y'all know I'm terrible with directions, so I felt it coming. Oh, no. I saw Sephora, but I was like, I need to figure out how to get home before I'm walking around Sephora with no phone. So I'm just going to go tomorrow. I have time in the morning. My idea of skincare when I'm gone is actually embarrassing. Um, but I'm going to use these witch hazel wipes um, to tone my face. I know we're against this, but guess what? It's gonna work for now. You guys know I use witch hazel wipes on my 
buttocks area to keep her nice and fresh even after a long day but I figure this will work too so my skincare routine when I'm not home doesn't even exist um so I used Cetaphil when I was in the shower <laughs> because that's what I had and I actually like it because it makes my face feel very very clean but gentle but I don't know why I don't use it on the regular do you guys use Cetaphil are we against that I feel like we've just all become snobs, but there's like nothing wrong with it. Um, but now I'm using these witch hazel wipes because obviously I carry them with me everywhere. All I have is this moisturizer, which I brought this with me last time and I don't know why. But here it is again. This is a Dr. Jart um, moisturizer. It's really moisturizing, but it doesn't feel greasy on the face, so I like that. Just putting that on. Do you chin and neck hairs? be so disrespectful I just have to really give my face some TLC when I get back and then since I have this I'm just gonna go ahead and use it this is the um you know glow recipe whatever whatever I normally use it only when I wear makeup but it has nice and right in it so I might do something Nancy, that's all I got for myself. It's better than nothing because I almost forgot to pack some kind of skincare because the way I was rushing this morning, like you guys don't understand. I literally had like 30 minutes to pack wigs, pack my bag, and take a shower. But I was just browsing in the dress department because you guys know I just went the other day and I was like, oh, let me see if they have anything. Um, and I found this dress by... Halston, Halston. Shout out to us at size zero, <laughs> size ten. It's just really pretty orange dress. It's so pretty. Can you guys see that? Is my camera dying? Oh no. Okay. Um. But yeah, it has like this little ruffle, and it has a really big split. So I really like that. I just wanted to put this in my closet why not never know when you need it and of course i tried it on and it looked good i'm at the point where if i try something on it looks good i'm getting it i don't care and um it was on sale so it was originally oh child this crunchy receipt because it was raining really goodbye i didn't see this brand when i was there the other day but that's why you explore so i'm about to go in this bed i have been on go literally since five this morning so i'm about to I don't need the whole room to be dark now. That's not the light. I'll figure it out, but yes. I'm about to rest. So, whew. I'm about to breathe. And I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, so bye. Guys, it is day two in New York and I'm up and ready to go. I literally went to bed, you guys, after I turned off the camera. I did none of what I told you guys. <laughs> I was so tired, and it is actually, well, I technically woke up at like 7, which gave me 14 hours of sleep, 12 hours of sleep, do your math, and then I officially woke up at like 9.30, so that's where I'm getting 14 from. So I'm about to go downstairs, get breakfast, and yeah, that's it. So let me show you guys today's OOTD, which is very underwhelming. But I'm going to show you guys anyway. So I have on my dusty sneakers like I told you guys about. Like they're so dusty, you guys. But they work. They work for today because outside is very treacherous. Okay. Um, my local European um, cargoes because <laughs> and you guys, my period started last night. That's why I woke up at six. And then I realized I said, wow. So I feel very big, very bloated. I'm praying that my dress still looks like how it did a few days ago because I feel bleh. Um, I have on this bodysuit from my outfit online. You guys know I love these. And then I have on my coat. My coat is a Ralph Lauren. It's like a joke. I think that's how it's really said. But like when me and my friends say, like Ralph Lauren. And then um, I have this um, coach crossbody on. It's actually my mom's because I needed a crossbody that wasn't a bucket bag. For anybody to put their little fingers in and take my stuff. So I needed one that zipped up. So... Yeah, I'm about to head upstairs or down, no, downstairs for breakfast. 
And I'm out of here. Um, I'm assuming Shanine will get here before me. But she can just come right on in. I put her name down. Um, but breakfast, Soho, Times Square again. Then I have a reserve, dinner reservation. And yeah, so... Well, a lunch reservation because we can't make it to dinner. So I still want to go to... um. Is it called Carmine's? Oh. oh, my bad, you guys. I went to bed at 8, not 7. Oh, That's too early. Not Nikki's dress. I want it. I really do. It's not good. It's the same restaurant that I went to yesterday, but this is the other side. So I was over there yesterday. And then over here. I'm trying to see who else they have. Let me figure out what I'm eating for breakfast. So I made it to Soho and I'm in Bloomingdale's right now so I'm just gonna shop do my thing if I see anything and look at that shoe I don't know why I want a pair of new shoes so bad So hair's already, I mean, it looks crazy. I just have to like slick it down and tie it down. And then um, do my makeup real quick. It's not gonna take too long. Outfit's picked out. So yeah, it's gonna be a quick, we'll have to take a shower too. <laughs> Rewind. But yeah, I'm gonna eat before I go because if I'm hungry, I'm gonna be this. And I'm on my period. Yeah. I ordered the wings. Look how many wings came in here. So they like 20. There's no way I'm finishing this. Yeah, um, with spinach? Oh, yeah. it's good.
So we're ready. Look who it is. Hey. The dress is giving painted on body art. Let them let them see the fit, honey. Let, let them see. Okay, period. We are ready. We're about to go. We're gonna pray Kim is ready. Because honey, the way today is going. It has been a good day, I'm not gonna lie. It hasn't been too bad. Has it? Oh, where'd you guys go to eat? Well, we're here. And that's it, we're just here. I'm not gonna speak too much yet. I should wait, right? Yeah. I should wait. Hold my word. Taking my ass to the sneaker bar. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Looks familiar. Her hair's really pretty wild. Wow. Yes. See under 40 recognition, but it's our first time in person, and as you can see, I'm like ready for it. Yeah. Last year, the pandemic kept us, but there's no stopping black excellence. This year, we're thrilled to gather so much extraordinary talent under one roof. Last year's 40 Under 40 event was conducted virtually, which means the inaugural 40 Under 40 honorees were denied the live applause they deserve. She gotta go back into work tomorrow. We don't want to hear something. Y'all <laughs> saw the way she cried. Are those the Reeboks you're talking about? Yeah. Very crisp. What do you mean? Very fresh. Look at my shoes. Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Take your motherfucking rock. I promise you, I'm nobody can fuck with. I don't believe you. It's like 11 p.m. No one cares. You see, who be lying? You hear her shaking in her voice. <laughs> Bitch, they're dusty. <laughs> Y'all, Shanice's putting on five little glasses. <laughs> like, why do you need five of them? It's three. <laughs> One will do. <laughs> How many did you put on? How many what? How many did you just put on? I just put on lip liner and I'm putting on the elf. Okay. That's it. So two. Lip two liner, products? lip liner, mm -hmm. and lip gloss is two separate products. You're putting on three gloss bombs <laughs> that are all turning into the same color. Exactly. And she got a uh, mauve, brown, you know and what? fuchsia. You know what? She, child, give her her own color, Fenty. Thank you. Like, give her her own mixture, because she just over here making up concoctions at this point. Yeah. Every time I turn around, I hear papers <laughs> crunching and crumbling. All that mumbling and cackling. <laughs> Every time I turn around, she eating a new apple <laughs> Like, damn. First of all, who gave that to me? Who was, no, don't get quiet now. Who was sliding me the apple I was. Okay, so. No, actually, I slid you these. You didn't slide me the boxes no, Kim gave them to me and I handed them to you. Oh, so. Because I'm a giving person. Okay. And I wasn't going to take them all for myself. I would have. Oh. But I know you like now. You told me you you ate the other now later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be giving very much flesh. So what were your thoughts on the event, Asha? Uh. <laughs> Just 
kidding. Um, I actually thought it was a nice event. I liked it. I mean, it wasn't like... Okay, so they had me fucked up having me stand out for the outside for that long. That was at least 40 minutes. No, they had us standing outside for a long time. That's why I started the vlog off like... But I mean, once we got in, it was cool, I guess. It was just... A, I mean, I didn't expect much, I guess. I, I mean, I was expecting Rihanna. Hello. If we're being honest. LeBron. LeBron James. <laughs> I was just saying something. Well, we're gonna go take pictures now, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so today's Friday. As you can see, I'm at my computer getting ready to get some work done. The same video that I keep saying that. Oh no, I need to just reset my computer. I don't even wanna see that. The same video that I keep saying that I need to edit. Still have not edited, so I'm back home from work. I went to work this morning, so now I'm back and I'm gonna edit and hopefully have this up by today, all right? But I didn't vlog when I was leaving, I almost said Atlanta. Um, what is it called, New York? Cause I left so early and I just was so tired when I got in. So I came home, took a shower and I was knocked out, y'all. I've been going to bed so early. But anyways, um, I actually really liked New York. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely go back. My mouse not working. Don't tell me my, my mouse is not work. So annoying. I actually enjoyed myself at the event. Getting in was a little sticky. Okay. They had us waiting outside for a minute because apparently there was just like too many people. You know how stuff like that goes. So yeah, I hope everything pops up. Ain't no way. Y'all, all my all my stuff just disappeared from my eye movie. This is ridiculous. Ow. Meaning my classes that I just edited. My vlog that I edited. <laughs> this is why I don't get nothing done. This is why I'm gonna tackle with this and I'm gonna. <laughs> so so just an update um i had to start editing the video again i was like 40 percent done and i had to just restart so i'm back at that 40 percent mark so it is what it is it happens and i'm determined to get it up tonight so hopefully it's up no later than like 6 p.m it's about to be three right now so i think i should be done by then um and just get this over with because I keep talking about it and I'm annoying myself at this point. So, yeah, then I need to fix my hair because my hair looks so stupid now. Like, what the heck? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know that I look crazy. What's new? Why do I even say that? What's the disclaimer for? Who is it for? Who? What are your answers? I need to put this tripod on here. Today's Monday, guys, and I have a lot to do this weekend. Or, sorry, this week. This week is Thanksgiving week. But this will be the last day of the vlog because I don't want to drag this out too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a diligent vlogger here. But um, I have a lot of cleaning to do. Thanksgiving's at my house this year. I don't know if I told you guys that, but now you know. But um, I'm cleaning up. My house looks atrocious. Like, I don't know what it is about me. Like, clothes just be everywhere and clothes. It's really just clothes and clothes. And like, when I buy stuff, I put everything on my island. Like, literally have bags of things that i buy just on my island packages that i've gotten you know so i'm getting that together um, um i'm getting that together and yes yeah, so i need to clean my house i need to record this video record a reel and i have i'm taking jade out to dinner tonight for her birthday since she wasn't here and i wasn't here so celebration tonight okay so, um, and I'm, I just have a lot going on this week. And then like, I just am getting my house together finally. Like, I know I keep saying that, but you guys, you have to understand, like, I did not realize that like doing everything by yourself is a lot. Well, I know that, but I just figured like, oh, just get your house together. Like get your furniture, get this, get that. Child, I literally, I, have, I don't even think I showed y'all. Like I have this corner full of pictures, mirrors, rugs, knickknacks that you need for your house. In the corner of my room's comforter, stuff for my room. So it's just like, it's time to just get it together. Thanksgiving's going to be at my house this year. I don't know if I just said that. 
Um, so yeah, so I actually am waiting for this guy to write me back if you can mount my TVs. Um, because also like I have a TV in my room, but it's just sitting on my dresser and it's actually small. So I bought a bigger TV for my room. I think a 65 inch and then I bought a 70 inch for my um, living room. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really wanted a 75 inch, but my credenza that I bought is 71.5 inches. So you don't want your TV being like way bigger than the furniture, I don't think. But whatever. So yeah, so that's what I did. Gonna get that together. That should be here tomorrow as well as my coffee table. I finally just ordered something instead of being like, uh, I don't want this like this. So we're gonna get it together, baby. And so yeah, I need to clean this house up and yeah, 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 it's time to get it together. So I just want to come on here and close out this vlog because last time I talked to you guys, I was actually editing my last vlog, which I had to completely edit all over because the edited footage was gone, but luckily the clips were there, so. I was able to do that and also my clips for my class that's supposed to be launching on Black Friday have disappeared as well but I'm not gonna let that get to me I'm just gonna have to edit them again take a deep breath so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one we're gonna stay on top of it so I will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching and I'm out